So here's our current science experiment. We are sprouting seeds inside the super absorbent polymer gels or balls. Um, this is the same stuff as the name brand Orbeez. This is just a generic brand that I purchased through Amazon. And we put the seeds inside and one of them's already sprouting. Um, and also what I, I'm using is like a paint palette um, and this little uh, pastry dome from some cookies, um, which is what I'm using to cover it under uh, the CFL bulb here for light. And I put little holes on the corners there um, so that way it's got um, a way to for circulation. So anyways, this is a great experiment if you have uh, children or if you're a teacher since polymers do absorb water a hundred times to I think or more um, times their volume and so when you're trying to sprout seeds inside these polymers then there's water that would help germinate them. So but let me give you a closer look. One of them you can already see the um, oh right this one the root. Let's see if I can it's kind of dark in here but this is a lettuce seed. I'll have to probably hold it for you so you can see it better. Um, but there is root. Let's see. There, there it is. There's the root right there. So if you can see that, isn't that neat? And it's amazing, especially if you have um, kids, to be able to see this. Just a quick update of our polymers or seeds inside the polymers. Now we put together this, this uh, small grow box so that way um, it will retain the heat from the CFL bulb. We lined it with foil. They can make a bigger grow box. We do have a video on that, so you can just search that on our search bar on our channel, and um, you'll know exactly what to do. So what you normally get is a CFL bulb, a bulb socket. You just plug it in there and just uh, put it right above the box. Now I did uh, cut up an opening here so we can kind of keep the box closed so that way it will retain the heat. So it kind of looks like that. Uh, so anyway, so the seeds are inside the wow, polymers and we did expand more polymers and put some more seeds in there. I ended up using a small screwdriver and popsicle sticks to puncture holes so we can push the seeds through the middle. I didn't have any toothpicks, so if you have toothpicks, those would probably be better. Okay, day six of seeds germinating inside the polymer balls or gels. I want to show you the sweet pea. Maybe we can zoom in on this instead of picking it up um, because they are so fragile. These polymer. Oh, it's kind of blurry. Let me just pick it up. So the pea is already a big seed, so I had to carefully um, insert it into the polymer with a um, little lollipop stick, or I think I even used a, a small, a tiny screwdriver carefully because, you know, they're very fragile. See that? Since so just the um, water molecules, I mean, yeah, or bonds that's holding it together as it abs as absorbs the water. But look at that root right there. So isn't that wonderful? Such a neat um, project that you can do together. Um, and also, this is this one here is broccoli. There's a tiny, teeny, teeny. There it is. Tiny root. Let's see. There it is. Just uh, about to sprout. So here's an update of the seeds that we tried to germinate inside the polymers. So it did work for a while, um, just for maybe the first week, and then it kind of um, stops growing because it does not have, or does not get enough oxygen inside the polymers. I tried to puncture some holes to get some air circulation in there, but um, the molecules are so bonded so tightly that it's hard to get through, um, or you'll just have to take bigger chunks, but then it breaks the polymers apart. This is a great science experiment that you can do with your children, although uh, the polymers are not recommended for children under five or sometimes six, depending on the manufacturer. You want to make sure there's always an adult present to supervise and that these younger children don't get a hold of these because it is a choking hazard. And that's why those um, bigger polymers, the jumbo ones, was recalled because a younger child got a hold of it. So, and it's dangerous. So anyway, um, so we learned that uh, plants need water, light, and oxygen. So in this case, there's not enough oxygen inside the, these polymers, so I had to uh, put a hole or I tried to take some of the polymer out and try to get some of the oxygen in there, but it was hard to do. So these are these seeds partially germinated, but not all the way. So what you can do is you can um, crack these open easily and put it in your um, growing medium that you'll be using. 
and like I said, I would not be planting edible plants in these polymers. This is just an experiment that I did, and I only had some vegetable seeds on hand, so I would probably use it for ornamental plants or house plants, um, you know, plants like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this um, neat um, experiment, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching at Learn to Grow, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.